Uh, as you might know, the Black Hawk uh, program is currently in production at Sikorsky Aircraft. We recently signed a production contract for 257 aircraft, and that was in June of this year. And that was for the U.S. Army? That is for the U.S. Army, and it will produce uh, UH-60Ms and HH-60Ms through June of 2022. And that is the Battlefield version and the uh, CSAR version, or the... Uh Casualty evacuation version. Correct. The UH-60M is the utility, common, you know, lift air, uh, version of the aircraft, and the HH-60M is the medical evacuation version of the aircraft. Yeah, we continue to do uh, process improvements and upgrades and engineering changes to the aircraft as as uh, the Army wants going forward. Could you tell us the difference between the two types of Black Hawks that are operating with the U.S. Army? Sure. The uh, UH-60M, the utility version as we call it, is the standard assault platform on the, in the U.S. Army. Uh, that is made to insert and extract troops. Basically the cabin consists of uh, 11 passenger seats to uh, carry troops in and out of battle. It's uh, significantly different than the medical evacuation version, the HH-60M. The HH-60M has a specific uh, interior for medical use. It has uh, suction. It has lights that are specifically for care in the patients. It also provides oxygen to patients. And additionally, it has a FLIR to find uh, casualties and has a rescue hoist to hoist them up if they need it. Uh, the other large difference is an HH-60M has no uh, defensive armament per normal conventions as a rescue aircraft. Uh, it doesn't have any door guns or uh, armament of any kind. And the, both have glass, full glass cockpits and uh, digital flight control systems? That is correct. Both have the same, uh, same cockpit and the same flight controls. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about your customer base for the uh, Black Hawk base? Sure. The uh, UH-60M uh, has uh, already been sold for 10 foreign countries since its inception in 2007. And we continue to deliver foreign military sales to the U.S. Army for use overseas.